Now I want to go over how to set up a reoccurring fertilizing program for a client. So we're going to show you how we need to cut that part out. I'm going to show you how to set it up through Service Autopilot. So we're going to assume that you have already sent the estimate for the fertilizing over to the client and they have agreed that they would like to sign up for that. Now our fertilizing program consists of um, anywhere from eight to ten separate services as you can see. Um, so you get all of these services for the whole year. So what we'll do the first thing when they say that they would like it is make sure that the estimate is marked as one. So you'll click here. Um, you should always label your estimate so you know very easily which one you're getting into and which one you're looking for. So you'll go in put a check mark and then you'll click the one button so that way they will the system knows that this estimate has been accepted and they will pull them out of the automation so and then you'll hit save and close now you're going to set up a package job different from how you would set up um, like a mowing or anything else that you've sent a quote for. Um, the only package that we have right now is the fertilizing package and so you set it up differently. Uh, typically what you can do is go into an estimate, say one, and then hit schedule straight here through the estimate. But you don't do that for the fertilizing. So once you've marked the fertilizing estimate as one, you'll come over and hover over add a job and a, the fertilizing is a package job. So you'll click add a package job. So you'll start at the top. This is the client. It's not a contract because we don't have contracts. You will select your package. So it's either going to be the St. Augustine or Bermuda Zoysia. So it's the St. Augustine. So it'll automatically pull it in. Package renewal. So I we just automatically set it up to auto renew. We're going to assign it to the fertilizing crew um, if there's a discount and such. Um, if there's any notes that you need to put in, um, if the, you need to call ahead before you're going to go out to fertilize for this client, you can click the call ahead button and you can put, you know, 24 hours or, um, you know, however much notice you need to give to them. If there are any notes that you need for the fertilizing technician, you would put them in there. So we'll go back to the job. So this is the important part. Um, the system automatically plugs in the base rate for the fertilizing program, fertilizing package. It's very easy to get the client's correct price in. You're going to click on the magnifying glass and as you'll see the estimate, matrix, and default. So it automatically defaults to that rate but you want to go with the um, matrix rate. So then you'll come back down double click matrix down matrix so you want to do this for all of the um, all of the items in the package so you'll go through and make sure that they have the right price if you don't adjust this price then the client is going to get billed for the base rate so after you've gone through and done all of that let's say that we are in a time frame where we can still put this uh, October fertilizer down and you want to go ahead and get that on the schedule. You don't want them to miss. So if you'll see up here it says missed and it's showing you that it, they have missed all of these because we are right now in December. But if we can go ahead and do this fertilizing for October you can click that button and it'll go ahead and add it. So right now it's added the turf fertilizer for October and the bed fertilizer for December will automatically populate and pop up to be done as well. So if you hit save, there you have it. There's your package for your fertilizing for St. Augustine. If you would like to see it you can click more and view upcoming and you'll see that there they are. So there's your October turf fertilizing and there's your December bed fertilizing.